your consciousness is wired into the quantum field and more science just came out that proves it. Now the study was published in the Journal of Physics Communications and is yet another scientific nail in the coffin that proves that your mind is much bigger and much more powerful than you think it is. Now specifically this study looked at the protons in your brain fluid and looked at the spins of the protons. And so in other words, they're looking at the quantum systems inside your brain. And what they found was heartbeat evoked potentials that suggest entanglement in your brain. Now the main author of the study said that the brain functions that lit up the MRI readings were associated with short-term memory and conscious awareness. And thus quantum processes may play a crucial role in cognition and consciousness. And if you have a problem with that methodology, you should know that it's also the same methodology they're using to prove quantum gravity. So you can certainly try to disassemble quantum gravity if you'd like. Most of the world's leading physicists would probably try to beg to differ with you on that. And don't worry, if you're lost in all the scientific stuff that we just talked about, to recap, in plain words, we've just added more scientific, peer-reviewed, published evidence that your consciousness extends beyond your body. Hmm, I could swear I remember somebody trying to tell us that. Who is it? Who is who is constantly trying to tell us that our consciousness is non-local and potentially infinite? It's right on the tip of my tongue. I will not lie to you ever. I may be wrong about things, of course, but not about this. Basically, they just found hard evidence that your consciousness could be connected and entangled all across the universe. And the way fields interact with matter, the influence passes both ways, meaning your mind can influence the universe, literally. And if indeed your consciousness is tied into those fields, which it is, it definitely is, now we just have more science to prove it, then your mind could be at least the size of the universe, if not more infinite. That's not just some thousands year old esoteric bullshit teaching from the ancient wisdom traditions. The reason the ancient masters were teaching Teaching that stuff from thousands of years ago through today is because when you break through to the infinite, you get to see it. Which is why the ancient masters just seemed to know how our consciousness worked and why we had to wait so long for science to simply prove it. Science will always trail consciousness. Einstein's E equals MC squared originally came from a vision in his head. Tesla's discoveries, same thing. Last week's Nobel Prize winner, John Clauser, told me that his vision came to him in his bathtub. By the way, I'm going through a four hour conversation that I had with him trying to pull out any nuggets from recording I made. Stay tuned for that. And the world's most quoted neuroscientist on the Theories of Everything podcast with Kurt Jamungle when asked about consciousness, said this. I, I'm sure the answer is quantum physics. Uh, that's, that's what it's going to look like. If, if, we, could, if we could understand it, the, the answer would be in, in quantum physics. Won't he be relieved that I think he's right? Of course, maybe we should start adding people into the conversation who have actually experienced the infinite. Do you want to expand your consciousness and dip into the real power that awaits you? You want to develop your personal next level shit? Maybe you should subscribe. I don't know. Start with my books to get your human mind out of the way. And strap yourself in because infinity is a little bit of a wild ride.